Dear friends, beautiful day to one and all. Welcome to Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel. I myself, Dr. Shiva Shankar. I am a practicing homeopathic physician. I am doing six months online course which is being conducted by Mr. Jay Prakash Nagatelli, sir. He gives a lot of assignments as a part of curriculum. Since I am a homeopathic doctor, he has given me an assignment to speak about homeopathic system of medicine. Today, now I am here to speak about homeopathic system of medicine. What is homeopathy? Why homeopathy? This today I am going to speak about. As all of you know very well, homeopathy system of medicine which is becoming nowadays very popular. Many patients are now coming towards homeopathic treatment because many chronic diseases which are being incurable, which are being only controlled in modern medicine, now patients are seeking towards homeopathic treatment and many alternative system. Today, I will speak about how homeopathic system of medicine was conceived and it was developed. You might have heard Dr. Samuel Hahnemann. He was basically allopathic doctor by profession. In 1790, when he was translating Cullen's Metre Medica, he goes through the line, Cinchona barks, bark cures malaria because of its bitterness. Hahnemann was being, he had a lot of scientific temperament, he was not convinced by himself by this sentence. He wanted to do an experiment, when he did experiment on himself, in that procedure, he came to know similia similibus curator. Later, he established a system of medicine which is called homeopathic system of medicine. In 1796, he officially announced this system. So. I am going to speak about now what is how is homeopathic treatment done to our patients. As all of you know very well, our body has innate healing property. Many times we say homeostasis mechanism. Homeostasis means it is the process by which body maintains its internal equilibrium. As all of you know very well, for minor injuries, for minor ailments, we might not have gone to doctors many times. Our body itself will cure. Our body itself has capacity to bring the balance, to restore the balance. This mechanism is called homeostasis. The very idea of homeopathic treatment is to stimulate the homeostatic mechanism, this mechanism in chronic diseases, thereby helping the body to recover by itself. That's why many times you might have seen our homeopathic doctors give very minimal quantity of medicine. The very idea is by giving minimal quantity of medicine, by stimulating the body's own healing power, enabling the body to cure by itself. This is the very idea of homeopathic treatment. That's why many times we say homeopathic system of medicine do not have any side effects because the, we administer very minute quantity of medicine to the patients. The speciality of homeopathic system is, there is a saying that homeopathy treats the patient, not mere disease. And even the father of modern medicine, Sir William Osler tells, a good physician treats the disease, the best physician treats the patient who is suffering from disease. In homeopathy, we follow the principle that patient as a person is sick not mere is organ. So, here we have the concept of holistic concept. That means, mere it is not the particular part of the individual is sick. The entire person as a whole we should consider and we should prescribe the, we should prescribe to the patient. So, what we do in homeopathy is, first whenever we see the patient, first we observe the patients the way they come, the way they enter, the way they sit. We try to understand their printing complaints, what diseases they are suffering from, okay, what kind of abnormal signs and symptoms they have, where disease is situated, like in which part, that is location, what kind of sensation, when it is more, when it is less, that is modality, and what are the associated symptoms, and patient's past history, so many times in chronic disease, we believe that, as all of you know very well, present is the continuation of past. 
future is the continuation of present. So every patient, we try to understand, especially in chronic diseases, the past history. Since childhood, what are the diseases they have suffered from, what treatment they had taken, okay, is, there any, is there any link between the presenting uh, his complaints, the present disease with his uh, previous diseases, what he suffered from. Then we try to understand patient as a person, that is his personal history, how is his appetite, how is his thirst, what he likes to eat, what he do not like to eat, all these things we consider. As all of you know very well, so our body is very, very intelligent. What is good for our body, those things starts uh, tasting well to our tongue. Some, some children might, uh, might be telling, you might have seen some children, they do not like sweets at all. Some children, they like sweets a lot. That means body is craving those uh, food items which is good for the body. Our body, our, our body always tries to maintain its internal equilibrium, the steady state. Okay, body in order to establish the internal equilibrium, the, the, the healing force many times will produce many cravings. All this we consider in, while, while treating the patients. How is his appetite? How is his thirst? Whether the patient is thirsty or thirstless. Even body produces desire for thirst as a part of adaptive mechanism. That also we consider. And his bowel movements, patient's sleep pattern, whether patient can tolerate heat better or cold better, whether his uh, prakurti is ushna or shita. And we also consider, uh, nowadays many diseases are psychosomatic and some diseases are somatopsychic. Every patient will have his own history. Every patient has its own history. So, before falling ill, what were the incidences in the life? Okay, how did he react it? to the environment. As all of you know very well, human being is not a machine. He is a living organism, evolved, evolved organism. He has many needs, not only the food, you know, shelter, clothes. He has many social needs, like uh, need for love, recognition, okay, uh, the belongingness in the where he lives. That's why we try to understand the interpersonal relationship in homeopathy. That means a patient, how he was born and brought up, how was his relation with the parents, his siblings, how was his schooling, what were the incidences that affected him, how did the patient reacted to the different various circumstances. And as well as if they are working people, okay, how is the environment in the workplace, okay, what were the different situations, how did the patient perceived the situation and he reacted. All the things we consider, that is interpersonal relationship, the sensitivity and reactivity of the patient. By considering all this, we try to give one medicine that is called constitutional medicine. The moment we give constitutional medicine, that medicine starts stimulating body self-healing mechanism, the homeostatic mechanism. So with very minute quantity of medicine, we can start we can start the healing process in the body or we can accelerate which is already the in the body that healing system so that's why we say uh, homeopathy do not have side effects the second thing is the beauty of homeopathy is individualization as all of you know very well no two people are alike everybody is different if you see in a classroom uh, who are of the same age children say for example 10 year or 12 year old children, all are not alike. Everybody differ in their physical makeup, that is the build, texture, okay, color, their you know, uh, shape of their body and even their nature. This is called individual variation. In homeopathy, we give more importance to this individual differences or individual variation to the various circumstances. Everybody will not react in a similar way. Some will react in a different way, some other in a different way, like this. We divide the persons, human beings, into various, you know, uh, temperaments. Sanguine temperament, melancholic temperament, phlegmatic temperament, and, you know, uh, choleric temperament. We will divide the people into extrovert, introvert, ambivert. We also understand the personality of the patients. 
So, by understanding his presenting complaints, the past history, the family history, his personal history, and the life space investigation, that is, what were the incidences which had affected him before falling sick, how did he react to various circumstances, by considering everything, everything all this, we make a portrait of the patient and we give one medicine which is suited to patient that is called constitutional medicine. By giving this medicine, we can cure and sometimes we can control many chronic diseases like diabetes, hypertension, allergy, asthma, migraine and many innumerable diseases. Even we can control osteoarthritis in advanced age. To cure completely difficult, at least we can control very well. So homeopathy has a lot of scope, especially while treating chronic diseases, lifestyle disorders. So uh, patients who want to get rid of their chronic diseases, if they are not satisfied enough from modern medicine, those patients can opt for homeopathic treatment. And uh, especially the constitutional remedy, if we give to the growing children, their overall immunity will improve. In future, their, uh, because of the increased immunity, they will develop resistance to various you know, infectious diseases. So the, the, we can see the overall well-being of the patients from homeopathic treatment. In my practice, what I observed, all my patients, after giving great constitutional remedy, they had come to me for gastritis, migraine, okay, for irregular menses or generalized body ache. But after I give the remedy, many patients, their face is glowing, eyes are shining, they are able to, uh, they are able to cope up very well, they have become lively because uh, homeopathic treatment is holistic treatment. That's why not only, uh, with the, not only with the improvement in the printing complaints, reduction in the printing complaints, we can see the overall well-being of the patients. So this is possible by opting uh, homeopathic treatment. So this information I would like to give to you friends. I hope you like my, you liked my video. If you have liked, please press the like button. Uh, uh, subscribe to Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel so that you can get all the upcoming videos. Thank you.